All right, guys. So just gonna show you what bushes I've got to replace uh, for the MOT. Uh, uh, it's this one up here. Yeah, so I've got to undo all these bolts here. Take this whole bar off. Left trail arm. Yeah, bolted on here and here. Left tip the link arm off. And then that whole thing will come off. Get to that bush. Both sides. And then the other bush is these ones in here. So I'm going to take the whole uh, suspension arm off. There's Off and off. Um, yeah, just by I say, just one bolt, tuck that off, another bolt there, and that should drop off. I mean, all the bushes and that, really never pick these up, there's obviously no movement in them, but they, they knackered like, well, there's obviously no movement, but they, they are perished. But never failed MOT for them, so I'm not changing them. But, uh, can stay as it is. The uh, anti roll bar bushes as well, they could do with changing, but again, I ain't. I'm just doing what got picked up. Uh, it's not as if I'm keeping the car. Well, I was contemplating it now when it is a run around. Uh, Keep the mileage off our last just car and that um nipping up with the farm and back so but anyway i'll just do these get it through mot and then if at some point i do want to replace all the other bushes i can just do it as and when um right so that's them the other thing is uh, brake lines so that one's got to be renewed here you can see where it's chalked it i'll be able to join it probably here yeah, so I'll just renew that part. I've got all the fittings and spare brake tubing, so I'll be able to replace them any bother. So it was that one there. Yeah, there's one behind it as well, which is basically the link from here all the way across to the other side. So I might as well just replace the whole lot yeah, rather than trying to join it. In fact, it's uh, see, it's he's chalked it there as well. Um, I so just renew all that. So that'll be the brake line just done the bushes. Um, needs a uh, number plate light sorting. There's no power at all or any of them, so I don't know whether that's wiring or just bulbs. Um, that, I mean that's the biggest jobs really. <laughs> them bushes get them sorted there's a link arm at the front for the suspension yeah that's some of the now two bolts um go on there pads and discs at the front so i've got them 280 mil discs uh, which bry did say uh, yeah, they'll do for another golf but uh, they might do for the audi if they're 280 mil we shall see and it needs a rear left uh, wheel hub as well and although it never got picked up them discs are scored the hell there uh, uh, but never failed them or for them but again for what these cost i might just replace these certainly if i am contemplating keeping it i'll not know though i'll just again it'll be one of them that i'll do after i'll just get through mot first happy days right that's your update did it all right there's uh, one side off well for one of the bushes anyway yeah that's uh, sat inside there and that pulls onto the bottom of the car uh definitely shot um, there's just no left of them. Yeah, in fact, I can probably take that bit out. I can. Yeah, we're gone. So yeah, that's um. Both of them need uh, a replacing. So it's just getting these old ones out. Bit of a mare. Uh, However, I'll manage. Right, tea time, and then I'll tackle the other side, get the other one off, and then I can get them both knocked out. Dilly dilly. Well, guys, a little bit noisy. However, it's toasty. Woo! It's got a thermostat on the 
inside as well. Once it reaches temperature in here, it'll shut off and then switch it to sell on automatically. Oh, but that is just heaven. I mean, I've had it on, what, probably two minutes there. And already, even at the back of the garage, it's there. Uh, you know, the, certainly the chill's gone. It's workable. So uh, I reckon another five minutes in this place would be like a sauna. So I went for this model without the wheels there, uh, so it's just easily maneuverable. So I can just pick it up and put it wherever I want. It's not too big. Yeah, uh, and it's absolutely oh, spot on that like. Well, I'll be quite expensive like for what it is, but yeah, yeah. How are the mien? Happy days. I've got heat at last. Dilly dilly. Well, good morning. And this Christmas, you can support real people by purchasing nice and fresh. Small yeah, I'm not really. What a night. Anyway, today. I'm going to crack on with this door and sort this window out. Yeah, the replacement guides came. Yeah, so I'll get that frame tucked back out. Uh, get this fitted. And then I'll have, hopefully, an electric window back up and running. Uh, on the spray job, I've decided now I was going to go white with a black roof. I think I'll still go with a black roof, but I'm going to keep the colour the same. So when I get the uh, tint, uh, I'll get the uh, the specific colour Audi tint. I'll get the colour code off the uh, the label inside the car. Yeah. Uh, so the tint will be exactly the same colour as this, although it won't be metallic. Um, the reason for that is it'll save me a lot of time having to do uh, like the. In uh, like the insides of all this and the inside of the yeah, the boot and the doors and all that sort of stuff yeah, they can just stay as that colour uh, it'll just be the outside that gets wrapped so that's going to save a lot of prep work uh, otherwise I'd have to basically uh, you know strip all that down so I get it all sprayed on the inside take all the fixtures and fittings off uh, same with the inner of the doors you know I'll have to take that off or I'll have to take all the trim off uh, so I can get sprayed uh, take all the all the seals off uh, these I'll have to take the window out uh, or certainly put some tape behind there and pull this seal back so it'd be a lot of prep work if I wanted to change the actual colour of this uh, so that's why I'm deciding just to keep it the same colour and I can just mask over the parts and just spray it then at least when you open you know the doors etc you're still seeing the same colour uh, it'll not look um, uh, like a bodge if you like I mean it wouldn't be a bodge if I was changing colour because I would actually go through the time and effort um, but what's the point just keep it the same colour uh, it's going to sort all the body work out you know basically all these scratches uh, couples of dints here and there and obviously this side which is the worst yeah uh, you know, it's going to cover all that um, and it's going to get me uh, a good feel then for what a car's going to look like uh, fully wrapped uh, as we know in preparation for the Cadillac getting done right I'll crack on with this uh, window uh, and get that sorted out dilly dilly right windows done happy days Yes. Yeah, one job off my list. Uh, I've took the uh, trim off the bottom here. Uh, so I'm going to start uh, sanding all this back. Ready for a spray. That needs filling. Need to take this off. Try and push this dent out. Uh, might need a bit of filling on there as well. Uh, yes. Just sand all the bodywork down really. Get ready for spray. Um, Hubs came. So we've got new hubs, 
both sides. Also just arrived is the uh, bushes. Well, one set of bushes anyway. Uh, the ones for this hasn't came, but these two have. So I can get these put back in the, the ex eccentrics so, uh, they're not perfectly round. Um, more like oval. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, get them tapped into there, and then I can get this this put back on. Um, and then I'm just waiting for the bushes for these. They've already been knocked out, and I've cleaned them all up, so it's uh, just need a little bit of grease on there, and then push the new bearings in. Again, the same with these. I've uh, cleaned them out as best I can with a wire brush bit of grease and hopefully them uh, new bearings will tap into there yeah, I'll get them sorted out and then I'll uh, crack them with the brake pipes um, uh, yeah brake pipes uh, I've got this one to do here as I showed you before so I'll have to probably join that one about there uh, I'll put a join on there uh, and then the other one is from here, so I'll have to undo that all the way across. So I'll just get one pipe under that. Hopefully, I've got a bit long enough. Right, dilly dilly. Hey, one bush in. Magic. Relatively easy. So I can get uh, mounted back on. Spring on. I need a new bolt as well. Um, so I had to grind the grind. Do the one off. It was seized. Nice right, so day. The next one. Dilly dilly. Right, so that's uh, them back on. I've had to order the proper bolts for them because the uh, eccentric bolts. So you can adjust the camber, uh, which basically moves this um, spring arm backwards and forwards uh, to adjust the camber on the wheel. Um, they're coming from China, January. <laughs> Get on. Um, so I'll just have to tighten that bolt up for MOT and then I uh, just pop the new bolt in as and when I get it. Just means the camber will be out slightly, but I'm not driving the car anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, um, so now I've got that connected. I'm getting uh, that put back on the back and plate. Uh, the new hub's on now. Um, that's that. So next is the brake pipe. And luckily I've got uh, a length of brake pipe that's going to be spot on so that'll go from one side to the other uh, and then I've got a bit to join as well so I'll have to cut a bit off um, and join it, I hate doing brake pipes but it's got to be done right dilly dilly ah, where we are today today's another day happy Sunday anyway guys and girls um, yeah so new discs are on new pads Oh, that's connected up again. Just waiting for this um, uh, bush to come because that connects back uh, basically on the um, up under the car. Yeah, um, goes inside this mount here and then that bolts onto the car. Anyway, by the by, so that's as much as I can do with this bit now uh, but at least everything's um, ready now it's just that that bush bit which is some of the note not take long at all however I now need to get to the front of the car so I've done both sides of this yeah uh, the brake pipe's been done as you can see so we've got the new brake pipe there which goes all the way around to the other end uh, yeah it comes out here and goes into that one and then I've had to renew this one here uh, which I basically just put a join on if I get underneath the car yeah so I put my join on there uh, looks like it needs tightening up again it's, uh, leaking out a bit that um, yeah so my join on there to renew that section that was knackered uh, and that goes back up into the uh, into the end of the flexi tube there um, looks like that one needs tightening up as well yeah cool right so to that end I'll get these uh, all these nipped up 
and then I've basically then got to get the car down so I can get to the front there which will be to place a drive shaft gator happy days right dilly dilly right good morning this Christmas you can spoil real people by purchasing nice and fresh. Yeah, I'm not really. What a night. Anyway, today I'm going to crack on with this door and sort this window out. Yeah, the replacement guides came. Yeah, so I'll get that frame tucked back out. Uh, get this fitted. And then I'll have, hopefully, an electric window back up and running. Uh, on the spray job I've decided now I was going to go white with a black roof I think I'll still go with the black roof but I'm going to keep the color the same so when I get the uh, tint uh, I'll get the uh, the specific color Audi tint I'll get the color code off the uh, the label inside the car uh, so the tint will be exactly the same color as this although it won't be metallic um, the reason for that is it'll save me a lot of time having to do uh, like the in uh, like the insides of all this and the inside of the uh, the boot and the doors and all that sort of stuff uh, they can just stay as that color uh, it'll just be the outside that gets wrapped so that's going to save a lot of prep work uh, otherwise I'd have to basically uh, you know strip all that down so I get it all sprayed on the inside take all the fixtures and fittings off uh, same with the inner of the doors you know I'll have to take that off I'll have to take all the trim off uh, so I can get sprayed uh, take all the all the seals off uh, these I'll have to take the window out uh, or certainly put some tape behind there and pull this seal back so it'd be a lot of prep work if I wanted to change the actual colour of this uh, so that's why I'm deciding just to keep it the same colour and I can just mask over the parts and just spray it then at least when you open you know the doors etc you're still seeing the same colour uh, it'll not look um, uh, like a bodge if you like I mean it wouldn't be a bodge if I was changing colour because I would actually go through the time and effort um, but what's the point just keep it the same colour yeah, it's going to sort all the bodywork out you know basically all these scratches uh, couples of dints here and there and obviously this side which is the worst yeah you know, it's going to cover all that um, and it's going to get me a, a good feel then for what a car is going to look like uh, fully wrapped uh, as we know in preparation for the Cadillac getting done Right, I'll crack on with this uh, window uh, and get that sorted out. Dilly dilly.